Hey SEO friends, welcome back. 10 uh, Chrome extensions for SEO. These are the top 10 Chrome extensions for SEO. Let's get straight into it. Number 10, Word Counter Plus. Obviously, a lot of us deal with clients, light on content on their website. You select the current page with Control A, select all, right click, Word Counter Plus tells you the word count on the page. Quick and simple. Nine times out of ten, it's going to tell you that you're light on content. What runs? Uh, this I run into this a million times. Uh, I need to know the technology that's running a site, whether or not it's WordPress, whether or not, you know, what theme and plugins it's got, uh, what type of web server, whether or not it's running, you know, proper versions of PHP, you name it. Um, what runs? Awesome. Have it at the top of the screen. Quick and simple information about the current technology of that website. Number eight, this is how I teleport for searches. It's location guard. Quick, simple, easy. You know, uh, if you want to move where you virtually are to get local search results, location guard. Seven, SEO minion. This is this one is ridiculous. It has tons of information about the site that you're currently on or the page that you're currently on. Um, it mainly has keyword. People also ask an on-page stuff, but trust me, go through, spend five minutes going through the knowledge panel area information of SEO Minion because it has tons and tons of data there. SEO Minion. Number six, GMB Everywhere. On the fly audits, and as you can see, tells you all the categories that a current listing has. Um, also, has a teleport feature. This is a premium plugin, it's not free. Um, some of the features are free, but most of them are premium. It's not expensive, it's worthwhile. Um, it does a lot of cool audits, it has a ton of worthwhile features. So, that one's worth buying. GMB everywhere. Number five, mobile simulator responsive. So this one serves two purposes. Number one, it gives inside your browser on desktop, it shows you how your site will really look on mobile. It does a great job of representing the mobile view. The second uh, benefit of this is in GMB, it does list the services on desktop if you throw it into mobile mode just by clicking the button at the top. So when you're on a listing, you click the mobile simulator responsive uh, button and it'll tell you the services of your listing or a competitor's listing. Number four, Plepper Local, another treasure trove of data on GMBs. Uh, this one, you could spend 20 minutes on one listing just looking at all the data on here. So when you bring up a GMB in uh, Maps, uh, this is all the information it gives you. This thing is awesome, whether or not it's verified or not, immediately. A listing of all the categories. Um, down here you have page speed, structured data, SERP step, SEMrush, who is, a whole bunch of other, uh, you know, uh, quick shortcuts to other lists, uh, you know, information about that listing. Then when you do, these two are from an analysis of not a competitor or your own site, but of a keyword. So if you just type in, you know, data recovery Westchester, um, this shows you the uh, percentage distribution of what categories, the listings that show up for your given search, how they're distributed, um, the reviews, how they're distributed, the attributes, and the business hours. The, the plugin is ridiculous for free it's worth it um i think it's been delisted from the chrome store so you do have to add it manually on their website they show you how to do that nice and easily number three this one's uh giving me the most productivity uh when watching um youtube it gets rid of the ads it gets rid of a lot of pop-ups. As you can see, this is on one of my computers. It got rid of 19,000 items. I mean, if each one of those took a second, this thing is worth adding. Okay, Sad Block Plus. And it really does do a great job as far as getting away from the YouTube ads. 
Um, Moz bar, number two. Um, PADA and links on the fly. You see that here. PADA, links on the fly. Your spam score. And then once you click through, um, you get the on-page assessment, your link metrics, your markup, whether or not it redirects, etc. Um, this one's real worthwhile. Uh, gives you all your H tags, your meta keywords, description. Another one, you know, throw it on there. And when you're doing a, an audit of a site or an assessment of your one of your sites, you know, quick and simple. Um, number one, you all know that I use this all the time. So this is open list. Um, basically, this is twofold. If you have a list of URLs, you plug it into this uh, extension. You click open and it opens all those sites in tabs. But the second part of this is even better than that. Once you open a whole bunch of tabs, say I don't like this one, I don't like this one, and I don't like this one, and I'm left with three tabs. When you go back into open list, those are the only ones that will show up in this list. So if you're you know, trying to review a bunch of web designs to show a client as inspiration, and you have 50 tabs open, and after cherry picking, you have five, this is the way to do it. I use it for that all the time. Um, so those are my 10 Chrome extensions that I hope you guys uh, take a look at. Uh, you might wanna review some of the data in this one. I went through this real quick, but some of the extensions here really have you know a lot of value. So check them out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, bye.